This is literally going to be the most randomest, weirdest, strangest video I've probably ever put out on YouTube and I put out a lot of strange videos so <laughs> get ready because this is a thing folks this is a real ass thing whether you want to believe it or not and I honestly I think I'm I'm headed more towards I believe it side I mean obviously I am a scientist true and true but I also am a really spiritual person and I feel like in a way when you think about paranormal and the veils and the lifting of the veils and how like you know spirits and ghosts and entities can cross over like why would they not be able to do this when they can do so many other things like it doesn't even phase me but it is creepy af to think about especially if it's not uh consensual and if it's rape then that is creepy as and at that point like you would just feel super violated like what are you even supposed to do and how are you supposed to even like go about that like you can't even tell anybody unless if they're really spiritually inclined and they're like you know into that kind of stuff and, and get it but like an average person if you're like I literally you know had this experience they'd literally be like you're freaking psycho you need to check into a psych ward what's up beautiful souls my name is karina and today i'm gonna be talking about ghost sex so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video yes this is an actual thing like yeah well let's just let's just dive into it so as you presume, it is what it sounds like within its name, ghost sex. Having sexual encounter with spiritual, spiritual? Spirits, ghosties, um, the paranorm, you know, entities in that sense. Um, <laughs> and it's an actual thing. I personally have not had experience with this, thank God, because I don't know what I would do. I probably like, kill myself if I had this type of experience because it is just so weird. I've been doing a lot of research and diving really really deep into this because it's just super fascinating to me and I feel like I need to share this. I feel like I have to put it out there because so many people have claimed to have this experience which is batshit to me like I don't know what I would do if I was in a situation like that what <laughs> what would you do if you were in a situation like that so obviously when it comes to sex sex can be you know consensual and it can be non-consensual so in this case it can be both um nine times out of ten when you think about ghost sex or when ghost sex occurs um, according to the good witch or the psychic medium um, Patty Negri she says that it happens a lot with loved ones spouses partners that have passed on and come and visit um, the person that they've left behind on this physical plane and so that is when it happens because you miss that person so much you miss that connection you have and you know wham bam shabam it happens in that sense other times it's not that at all it's just a random lingering spiritual spirit ghosty um sometimes even demonic entity um that comes and visits you and you know it's essentially rape if it's not consensual, right? So they essentially rape you. And um, I've heard that, you know, people feel like this heaviness on their chest or their back, like however their position, and um, like they can't move and it's like, they feel like this um, lingering sensation or some creepy crawly thing just like, you know, on their skin. And it is crazy. Now, when you think about experts and studies and, you know, the more scientific aspect of it, a lot of people say, no, it's sleep paralysis. Um, but the argument there is there's a huge difference between, you know, scientific definitive um, answers to everything right because a lot of people are more scientific which i am too but then there's that whole like other realm or other portion of it where it's the spiritual component where things that you just can't explain that you just know is not 
what it is stated in scientific terms like you know that there is no scientific explanation for that as far as like just concrete science that we know of it's beyond that right science can be beyond as well when you tap into like other realms and spirituality and stuff like that so going back to sleep paralysis if you don't know what sleep paralysis is it's kind of like this state when you are sleeping but your body is completely asleep and you're you're awake your mind is awake so you know exactly what is happening and i've never experienced this before until like probably a couple of months ago maybe two three months ago maybe four months ago i don't remember and it was the first time i'd ever experienced sleep paralysis and that is creepy af i had no idea what was going on and i was like why can't i move like i'm aware of my surroundings but i'm literally like stuck set in stone like it was just so creepy so like i understand the sleep paralysis component of it now which is so crazy to me and it was weird it was honestly really scary um just i was trying to get out of that trance and like waking up my body but i literally could not move no matter like what i did and i was like snap out of it snap out of it um but i couldn't like my mind it, it's so weird has anyone else experienced the paralysis because like i want to know how you would describe it because i don't even know how to describe it it was i don't even know and also the other thing with sleep paralysis is you can't speak either so literally you're like completely numb but you're aware you're awake and your mind is going so you can't even like call out for help if there's someone there that can you know take you out of that trance state or whatever and then with sleep paralysis there's also people that claim to see shadow people or like um more negative entities and those negative entities or more like demonic type um entities are referred to like the sleep paralysis demons i'm sure you guys heard of it maybe maybe not if you're interested in this topic or if you're on the dark side of tiktok <laughs> um but anyways i did not experience any of those shadow like figures or people or any like negative demonic things it was literally like me I don't even remember to be honest I don't remember a lot of things when I wake up like what what I was dreaming or anything which I feel like is normal but a lot of people do have a really clear memory the second I wake up I completely forget everything so I don't really remember exactly what happened but I know for a fact there was no like you know shadow figures or whatever that I was seeing like it was something else that was happening and I think I just freaked myself out more and that's what I was like focused on so even if there was something there I, I really didn't care like that's not what's gonna freak me out so anyways it, it, that is what sleep paralysis is in a nutshell in a sense and my experience but moving back to ghost sex people say that you know there's a significant difference between the two like people think that you're in a sleep paralysis state and so you know you're not completely like there but you are but you can't move your body and then like maybe you're in a like dreamlike state because also i was dreaming but i couldn't move my body and so people are like oh that's just a dream like you're you know in sleep paralysis because it's you know obviously you're sleeping and it's a part of a dream right in a sense so then on the other aspect of it the spiritual aspect of it people claim so there's two points one that they were able to completely move their body and they were a hundred percent aware and conscious of what was happening and what they were doing I and mean, they're not that crazy and then there's a second component where their body was completely numb but they knew that they weren't in a sleep paralysis state so i hope that makes sense but anyways going back to the ghost sex component of it i don't like oh i don't know i don't I, has anyone ever experienced this because if you have let me know in the comments below if you're willing and wanting to 
share. I honestly am just so fascinated by this topic. It's so crazy and I've known about it for quite some time. But it wasn't until really recently that I dove really deep into it and I'm still doing a lot of research and digging around. And it's so crazy to me, like if someone wasn't physically there and I literally felt something touching me, I would freak the hell out. Like wouldn't you? Like uh, my first reaction would be it was like a creepy crawly like a bug or something because I don't do bugs and I would freak the F out. And that is not a good feeling at all to have a bug crawl over you but then the moment I would probably realize that it's not something on me i probably think that i'm like high off of some drug or like some type of like <laughs> oh my god aftermath symptom don't do drug kids <laughs> But you know how some effects or some symptoms that you have, especially when you're in withdrawal, like you feel things crawling on you or you see things crawling on you um, and they're not actually there. Like that's how my mind would work, but I would never go to like this state of like, oh my gosh, it's like an entity or something within its presence. And the other point I want to make out is obviously you can have sex while you're dreaming. It's called sex dreaming, sex dreams, whatever. This is not what I'm talking about. This is completely different from that. That again is a whole nother topic um, with like, you know, it being something completely different from what ghost sex actually is. And it's funny because there's two celebrities that actually claimed, there's multiple celebrities actually, but the two that I'm going to mention are Kesha has claimed that she has been visited by some um, entity when she was sleeping and had some type of sexual arousal. And then Anna Nicole Smith also claimed to have the same or similar type experience and when i think about gross sex it honestly just makes me think of scary movie too and that classic scene where you know i'm sure you've seen it if you haven't seen the movie um where you know it's happening and that's essentially how i can visually just explain it to you guys so there's clips out there you can go and search it uh maybe if it's appropriate enough i will put a clip in here i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have to see once i edit and see if i can get a good clip in if i can't then of course you can obviously go on the interwebs and look it up yourself literally just type in scary movie 2 ghost sex scene or something like that you welcome thank you and then the second movie that comes to my mind when I think about ghost sex is which does not necessarily have to do with like ghost sex initially like scary movie 2 physically and very visually um, portrays it but it is a movie ghost that stars Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze it is an older movie so I don't know if you guys are familiar with it but basically it was her partner Patrick Swayze's character who had passed on and they were so much in love and basically he visits her and she could feel his presence and it's sort of along the same things but they don't I don't know if they've actually I don't know if it was an actual scene where it was like ghost sex or not i haven't really seen that movie in a long ass time so i don't know but essentially those are the two things that kind of come to my mind when i think about this topic and another point i want to make out is this is completely different from an incubus and a succubus and i'm not talking about the band or the plant <laughs> so if you don't know an incubus is basically like a male spirit some people relate it to like demonic, weird, um, more negative entities, which yeah, in a sense, when you think about what they do. So basically their whole mindset is to impregnate a human female with their ghosty sperm, uh, which that's a whole nother topic within itself to get impregnated by ghost sperm. Um, I've just been diving really deep into the dark paranorm crazy bad side of of the of this this spiritual spirit paranorm haunting type things um anyways moving on to succubus it's the complete opposite so it's a female um spirit negative entity maybe 
demonic related who tries to get pregnant by a male uh, human so there you have it folks so what I'm trying to say is this is completely different from the incubus and a succubus but essentially maybe it could be an incubus or a succubus I don't know I mean who who does who knows and who doesn't know I don't know this is just a topic that I'm like super curious to know if anyone else has done their research on and I just want to like put it out there and like let's just exchange information obviously be respectful and obviously be mature about it because the moment people say sex or like sexual intercourse everyone just goes super immature and that is not what I'm about this is a mature like topic that I'm super just fascinated by and the last and final point that I want to make is on spectrophilia so if you don't know it's basically like in a, in a nutshell like sexual attraction towards ghosts or spirits or being aroused by ghosts or spirits some people also relay it back to fetishes because when you think about philia it's more on the fetish side um and it doesn't necessarily have to be a kink or a fetish or you know along that realm of it but basically what i'm trying to get at which i'm going to read the definition um there are four different types of definitions so the first one like i stated is a sexual attraction to ghosts the second one is a fetish classified as a paraphilia in which one is attracted to ghosts or spirits and then the third one is fantasizing about ghosts and image scenarios involving sexual events with them spirits ghosts all of that kind of stuff and then the fourth and final definition is engaging in sexual activity with a ghost dun 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 so yeah that is my little spiel on ghost sex let me know what you think about it in the comments below is it absolute bullshit is it bogus or is it more you feel like there's a scientific explanation like sleep paralysis or a sex dream or something else maybe maybe it's aliens <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. Okay, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications, and other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day, health and peace.